Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the Memoria Press first grade curriculum. We'll start off with the first grade curriculum manual. This has step by step what you'll be doing each day. It also has some helpful things inside that you can look at. This first page is what all can be included in your curriculum. If it has an asterisk next to it, that just means that you probably have it from kindergarten. Unless you're new to Memoria, then it's something that you'll want to purchase. It also has Helpful tips for each subject. I do recommend reading these as you will find really helpful things. Um, we get on to the actual week one and this has the subjects that you'll be doing and what you'll be doing each day. There's a lot of variety. You won't be doing everything the same every single day. Someday you'll be doing art and music. Another day you'll be reading a book aloud or you'll be doing certain arithmetic one day and not the next. It's just very nice to have the variety. So we'll get into the back of this book which actually has the recitation which you'll see scheduled on each week. Recitation for week one and then you kind of go over it. It looks like three times a week and that's in the back of the book. It is very helpful. I enjoy doing it with our kids. Let me try and pull it up in here. Okay, so here's the first grade recitation and you can see it just has simple questions that it's good for our first graders to know and it's labeled by each week. So week one you'll do all those questions, week two and so on. Then back here it also has memory verses that your kids will be memorizing throughout the curriculum if you want them to. Um, the read aloud book list which isn't included in the curriculum kit. These are just suggested reading that we do like to do. I don't order these from Memoria. I find them cheaper on eBay or A Books, Book Finder. There's lots of different websites that you can look at. Um, there's also the history, culture, and science. These are the same. These aren't required reading but they are suggested and they are very good books. I would suggest getting them. You can also do, you know, your library or sometimes you can find them on YouTube. Here's the poetry list. There's actually a book that all of these are in that you should have gotten in your kindergarten curriculum kit. So these aren't individual books. It is all in one book. Here's the different songs that you'll be doing. I usually pull it up on YouTube and we watch them together as a family. It's kind of neat. And then we get into just some printouts if you want. Some little helpful things that you can do. These are like your spelling list. So now we'll move on to our next book. This book should have been in your kindergarten curriculum. Classical Phonics, A Child's Guide to Word Mastery. It's got giant flashcards in the front. And then we get into like blends and just different words that they can practice reading. And it'll tell you when you use this book so you don't have to guess at when you throw this in. And it'll tell you which page to do and whatnot. Then we get on to this giant stack of flashcards. This should have been in your kindergarten kit. It has the alphabet and different blend flashcards. So these are pretty neat. They're good quality. Then we'll do the phonics guide for reading and spelling. So this will tell you, you know, when to incorporate your flashcards, when to incorporate this book. Um, and it gives you, you know, the same thing as your curriculum manual. Just week three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it'll tell you when to use your flashcards. Different things that you can do to help with your child's learning and whatnot. So there's that book. Then we'll do the phonics. So this says grade two. It is for grade one. It's kind of confusing. But this one you won't start necessarily on page one. You just kind of, it'll tell you which page to flip to depending on what you're working on for that day. It kind of correlates with it. So just different activities that they can do to help them fill in the letters. Just a neat little book. 
Then we get on to the spelling. I am new to this spelling. This is the Memoria's newer version, and I haven't used this yet. So here's the spelling practice sheets. These would be their spelling words for the week. So you would say them, spell them, say them, and then write them down. And then eventually they'll take a test on these words. So that's pretty, I mean, it's all, that's all that's in here. So your practice sheets. Then we have the student book. And in here there's just different things that you, you know, fill in the blanks, write the words that begin with a soft G, and then here's your list. And they have to write which ones are the soft G. Different paragraphs that they can read that have their spelling words in them, and then fill in the blank. And I think maybe in the back of this it might have your answers. Maybe not. In the old one it did. I don't know about this new one. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. But it does have, it looks like a dictionary. So there's the traditional spelling student book. Then we'll get on to the primary phonics readers. So you should have from kindergarten sets one, two, three, and four. These are five and six. There's ten in each set, and they're just little readers that the kiddos have. They're nice quality. I mean, just black and white pictures, but they're pretty good. Then we'll get on to the story time treasures. So this is the student guide. And what you'll do is you'll have a book like Little Bear. So this is your required reading. This should come with your kit. This will go along with this book. And it'll tell you when to read it in the curriculum manual. You read like four or five pages and then you open up this book and you do comprehension questions, vocabulary. I really enjoy this part of the curriculum. I think our kids do too. Color, circle and color the things you would wear in the snow. Mark an X on the things you would not wear in the snow. Just different fun things to go along with the book and there's actually going to be multiple books in here. So we have Little Bear, we have I think blueberries for Sal in here, um, caps for sale. So there's going to be different books in there. Um, we have more story time treasures. And I'm guessing this is the same. I haven't gotten into this yet. Yep. So there's Billy and Blaze. And then there's an art activity and just different comprehension questions. So these go along with books that are included in the curriculum kit. And then here's going to be your answer key for those, both of those books. But you shouldn't really need, I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory for first grade. But just in case you have a question, there's your answer key. Then we'll get on to the actual books that are included. I don't have the Christmas Little Houses, but I do have the other ones. So we've got Little Bear. And like I said, I usually buy these. You know, you can get them at Goodwill or just cheaper on different places online than you can through Memoria. The next one you'll do is Little Bear's Visit. And then we have Caps for Sale. These are really quality books. They're, they have really good content. Blueberries for Sal. This is the one that we're actually on right now. Make Way for Ducklings. This one I did order for Memoria. Billy and Blaze. These ones I think the only place you can get them is from Memoria, but I could be wrong on that. Blaze in the Forest Fire. The Story About Ping. Keep the Lights Burning, Abby. Stone Soup. The Little House. Miss Rumpheus. 
Winter on the Farm. And there's two more books that are Little House on the Prairie. I think Little House on the Prairie Christmas Time and The Christmas Treasury. I actually don't have those to show you, but those would be in the kit if you bought it from Memoria. We'll get on to arithmetic. You'll be doing speed drills in first grade. You don't do these in kindergarten, but you do start them in first grade. So there's just an example of that. These pages is where they write their corrections. So if they got one wrong, they would turn back and write the ones wrong on here and do it the right way. Then we have the workbook one, which they actually did in kindergarten. So this will probably look familiar. Just going over numbers again. And you don't do all of this book in first grade. Then we go on to workbook two. And just more of the same, just a little more complicated. Math problems, place values, which one's more and less. So there's an example of what they'll be doing for their math. Fractions, money, time, measurements. We'll get into the back and see what they end up ending with. Just gets more difficult as you go. Story problems. Count by tens. So there's their arithmetic. This is the teacher manual. You should have this from kindergarten as well, since you know you have book one. Book one and two are going to be in this manual. This is also from kindergarten. These are your um, extra practice sheets. It's just a huge box full of extra practice sheets that they can be doing if they need more help or if you want to just do them for extra re review. They include flashcards. I actually had some, so I didn't end up getting those. I had these from when we used the Abeka curriculum. We'll go on to the cursive, which they start in first grade. So here's their cursive book. And here's different things that they'll be doing for the cursive tracing, and then they write it on their own. They also do have, I think it's in the back of here, a contest that they do every year. I'll try and find it and show it to you. Um, there we go. The new American Cursive Penmanship Contest. So you can send in your child's writing. Usually they have you do the Pledge of Allegiance or a Bible verse or something like that. And you send it in to them and... I don't know what you win. This is our first year doing it, so I'm not sure how it all works. We'll get on to the next one, which is the copybook cursive. So this just has a long poem, it looks like, and then you copy it on there. You can draw pictures. Here's books of the Old Testament, and then the page that you copy it on. So there's some more cursive practice. We get down to the composition and sketchbook. So you get to draw pictures and then write different things. I'm sure they'll tell you what you can write in here, but that's all this is. You can also get this tablet. It's just blank paper for practicing on. Here's some more cursive practice sheets. So there's that. Tracing and then writing your own. The first grade enrichment, this will have your art cards, your music, your science, um, your read aloud books. So here's week five, read aloud book. Gives you an overview of the book, the author and illustrator. Before you read, different questions to ask them vocabulary to go over with them, picture review and comprehension, 
more picture review and comprehension, just questions to ask them after you read the book, and then more questions. So that's part one. Part two of week five has your history. So there's different ideas that you can do with your kids. Science, this is where, you know, you'll read the books and they have sometimes different science projects you can do with them. Art, this is where you'll get your biography of the artist and about the art picture. Music, there's more of this in the music book that I'll show you. And then poetry, this will go along with your poetry book and questions to ask them after reading it. So that's the first grade enrichment. Now we'll get on to the art cards. These are really neat. Let's see here. So here's first grade art cards. And they're just five by seven pictures. You can get posters. We chose to get the pictures, the little ones. They're nice and they have, you know, the first grade enrichment tells you about them. There's just very little information on the back. It tells you, you know, what it's called, who painted it, and then where it's at and whatnot. So there's the art cards. We do these as a family at the supper table usually. Let's pull these up. Here's your music book. This you'll use kindergarten through second grade. And it has separated for you these you'll use in kindergarten. And then first grade, it has right here. So here's week one. It tells you about the song, about the composer, and also in the back, it's alphabetical for the composer, and it gives you a few paragraphs about them. Like I said, we do this as a family. It's a lot of fun. My husband sits around and we watch it on YouTube. Some are two minutes long, some are 45 minutes long, but these are a lot of fun to do. Here's the child's book of poems that I was telling you about. You'll get this in kindergarten. If you didn't do kindergarten, you'll have to order it. But there's just little poems, and then there's questions that go along with these in the first grade enrichment. Nice pictures. Some are super short, like two lines long. Um, but then there's also longer ones. Then we have the Animals, Animals book. This you'll do in kindergarten as well. Again, just short little things that you'll go over and it'll tell you which page to do with these. Here's just some of the extra books that you can get. African Lions. This book was actually pretty expensive, uh, even on the cheaper sites. So, African Lions, The Polar Express, A Visitor for Bear. I found this one at Goodwill the other day, and I just kind of buy them as we need them. The Very First Thanksgiving Day, Trains by Gail Gibbons, Australia and Oceana, Alligators and Crocodiles. There'll be lots of Gail Gibbons books. Hurricanes. Some of these you'll read in kindergarten and first grade. The Biography of Tea. This one was really interesting. I really liked that one. White Snow, Bright Snow. The Owl and the Pussycat by Jan Brett. Katie No Pocket. A Picture Book of Christopher Columbus. Lyle Lyle Crocodile. We actually have the treasury. I don't know that you need the treasury, but it's got the book in it that we needed. Miles and Miles of Reptiles. These Cat in the Hat books are pretty funny and pretty, pretty informational actually. It'll actually have facts just in poem form or rhyming form. So that's it for the first grade curriculum. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Or if you want me to review something else, I have kindergarten through fifth grade and I'll try and get them up as soon as I can. 
Um, I've got seven kids, so it might take me a while. But if you want me to review something specifically with Memoria, just let me know. Um, and have a good day. Bye.